several assembly lines. So we did it with two, but of course it can be done with as many as you want. So, and each assembly line has workstations, right, when a particular part of the job can be done, right? And what you can do, you can just go from one workstation on the same line, right? Or you do the one part of the work here, then you decide to switch here, and then maybe go here, and then maybe go here. And now the, your pro, so the work takes different amounts. So for the same stage of the work, you can uh, think that these machines are not equally modern, and some of them are faster, some of them are slower, right? And if you want to switch from one assembly line to another, this also cause, causes a certain time delay, right? And the problem is uh, to find uh, a way of uh, producing just a single car that is the fastest possible way to do all the stages of the work. How did we solve this problem? What were the sub-problems? It's at the stage I, you achieve optimal solution, but you, in order to make a recursion simple, uh, it's, you know, you say this is optimal up to here, um, but maybe then uh, in the next, it's actually better to go this way because the cost for um, transferring from here to here is much smaller than here, so this solution won't be optimal. What are the sub-problems? Exactly. So the solution, you find the following some problem. Opt for all jobs up to I, right? So jobs are J1 up to J uh, uh, N. So you go up J I such that the last step is done at the station K. Now you have a very easy uh, recursion because uh, you simply go look for optimal solutions to do uh, the assembly and end up anywhere here and then add to this cost the cost of the transfer in here right and if you have optimal solutions to, but the, the last stage is done exactly here then you can search exhaustively Right? Look, uh, uh, review, uh, uh, review the, the lecture notes from D1, uh, from uh, 3121, right? So uh, uh, the idea is that the states of your dynamic programming are all jobs up to i, but so that the last i job is done here, and then in the simultaneous recursion, the last job is done here, the last job is done here, right? So uh, this way you get, you are guaranteed uh, to get a globally optimal uh, solution. Uh, so that's, I guess that's, uh, we don't have really much time. So please review this uh, and then we will do next time the return the uh, decoder, which is really, really extremely important algorithm. Okay, okay.